Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Pisces for the week starting January 29, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at gigilitarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. And I'd like to take a moment to thank all my Pisces for your love, your like, all the comments that I've been receiving, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. Thank you very much for that. And I also posted below the video where you can find me on social media. And now my Pisces, on to your reading. And so just so you know, before recording your reading, I always meditate and ask spirit for guidance. And I also shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what you have in the past position, my Pisces. We have here the Six of Cups. Okay, Coming in a past position, it's a great card. It's a, it could uh, signify a reunion with a past, um, a past lover, but it could be a past friend as well. Okay, um, The Six of Cups really is, um, it's a return to innocence in its own, you know, in its simplicity, purity. Okay, so if you didn't meet someone from the past, it could be that you had a week when you were able to have some fun, you know, maybe some kids were involved, you know, maybe it was just, you know, you being able to relax, disconnect completely, you know, it's your, it's your birthday month, okay, and so I trust you had some time also to enjoy yourself with other people, the people that you like, okay, um, the Six of Cups sometimes also, it's a desire for change, okay, um, so, because you go back in the past to figure out, you know, a few things. So, it could mean also that you, some of you may have a certain desire to reconnect with the past or someone from the past as well. And let's see what you have, my Pisces, in the near past position. We have another six here. We have the six of swords, okay? The six of swords, it, 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 sometimes it's a smooth passage from difficulties, Okay, uh, it's when you decide to let go. This energy also does some abandonment there. Okay, it's when you just leave people behind or give up on things. Okay, to go to a, a better place. So we'll have to see um, in this reading uh, where this energy is coming from. Come, you know, right now we know that you have. Mercury and Venus in your 12th house. It's in Aquarius. So Mercury in a 12th house sometimes give us some type of ideas um, that could be connected to, uh, you know, foreign place or other places, far, far away places. Okay. So that could be connected to this as well. And let's see what you have, my Pisces, in the position of the, the future. Another swords here. We have the two of swords. Interesting. Okay. The two of swords, sometimes it could represent a blind fate in a direction. Okay. It could be you confirming to, you know, conforming to some type of authority without having, you know, a full understanding of what's ahead of you. Be mindful of that again because this could be triggered by Mercury in a 12th house. Although it's in Aquarius, which is a very intelligent sign, Mercury in a 12th house, house for all of us sometimes could make us a little confused. Okay, 12th house is the house of, of you know, uh, the unknown. Okay, uh, self undoing. Okay, it's a very karmic house. It's a very spiritual house as well. Okay, so here spirit could could just be telling you to be mindful not to have a you know, a, not to be blinded in your upcoming direction, to be able to see things for what it is, to gain the clarity that you need at this present time. And remember, the sun is in your, is in your house. It's in Pisces. So, you know, be mindful of that. Um, before making a decision, maybe consult people around you, okay? Or just wait before making a decision, okay? If it's a major decision here, spirit may be you know, maybe asking you to, you know, to look at the pros and cons, okay? Or to maybe ask someone else who, you know, who has a different view 
just to get a second opinion as well. Okay, and let's see what we have for you, my Pisces, in the position of the outcome. The judgment, interesting. Okay, judgment, it's it's a you know it's a major arcana, so it's a very very important card. Okay, um, I I feel that having this judgment card here in this position in this position for you. Uh, my Pisces, it could be le it could be letting you that you know you're there's something that will be unfolding, okay? That um, that you may not be able to know, or you may not be able to see for now, okay? Judgment again, it's it's what we is what what we don't know that are being exposed to us. Spirit is exposing a few things, okay? So it could be about the people that you have around you. It could be about you. Maybe the people will tell you what you, what what they really think about you. Because Mercury in the twelfth house, again, you know, you have this lack of clarity a little bit. Okay. I would say that you know, you it's asking you to have a, also, uh, you know, a better judgment. Okay. Um, because you have those two side by side. So like I said earlier, be mindful of the decision. Because maybe there's a decision coming your way, um, you know, that could lead you to a certain direction, okay? Then I'm not too sure what the direction will be. We'll have to see next week. But right now, use, you know, this time to think things through, okay? Mostly I feel you should, you know, ask, ask people around. You have the sun in, 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 on your sign shining on, on Pisces, okay? So make sure that you use this time, this opportunity to go and, you know, and seek advice if that's required. But this is a major arcana. It's the major arcana that you have this week. So the importance is very, very, uh, um, is very important, okay? Because it's a major arcana. It's also in the outcome position. So, you know, things going to come out for you this week my Pisces, okay, uh, things that you didn't know, again, the 12, has, the 12 house is the unknown, okay, so things that we don't see, and sometimes the 12 house could represent hidden enemies, okay, people that we have around that may not want the best interest for us, okay, but this is a general reading, it will reflect on, on you differently in different areas of life, let me know how this resonated with you, my Pisces, leave me a comment, and until then, Sending you lots of kisses. Love you.